Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play DuckTales. Without any further to do, let's uh... What am I doing? Oh right. Let's go to the Himalayas! Pack my parka, Duckworth. We're headed for the Himalayas to hunt for the lost clone of Genghis Khan. Shall See, this I is a place where you should dress clothes, some layers. Sir. Oh, not this time, Wibby darling. I need you here looking after the boys. Otherwise, who knows what kind of trouble they might get into. Oh, that's very smart. We call that a happy cookie. Indulge me, lads. The last thing this expedition needs is a wee lass about. Oh, I'm going to have enough trouble looking after the launch pad. <laughs> Uh, actually, the happy cookie thing is sort of an inside joke with me and my family. It actually comes from uh, the Fairly Odd Parents, except and Fairy Idol. Launch pad. I told you to land in the center of the mountain range, not in the center of a mountain. Gee, Mr. McTee, I thought that crash was rock solid. The only rocks around here are the ones inside your head. Ugh, we're nowhere Actually, it is rock solid. Path, the plane's only the lost partially crown. totaled. Now fix this wreck so we can get airborne. And step on it, lad. I'm paying you by the hour, and I'll not have you billing me for overtime. No problem, boss. As long as I have this fuel regulator, we're as good as... Whoopsie-daisy. Oops. <laughs> uh, my mom always said I was a Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, no. Tempting Please pay. tell me you've got another one of those. Sure, I do. But it's back in Duckburg. Launch pad! Don't worry, Mr. McDee. I'll climb down and get it. You'll do no such thing. I'll get it. You stay here and try not to cause any more damage. Okay. You're the boss. Anyway. Well, ooh. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> that was nice. Anyway, the concept of the happy cookie, I mean, very idle, you know. Timmy acts like a jer jerk to his fairy godparents, and he like he apologizes and then give him, gives them a cookie. And there's like a scene. I'm still, I'm still mad at you, but I've forgiven him. I already ate the apology cookie, so I adapted that to make it a happy cookie when. When somebody just tells you what you want to hear because they know it will make you happy, and you know that there are people, you know, people do that. It's really funny. It's no use complaining about it. It's just funny. I complain about a lot of things. Yes, this is um, not a straightforward mission. <laughs> Jackpot. You think this is the only like? Here now, don't touch that. I need it to fix my plane. Stop! Oh, it's too late. Those bunny bandits have torn it apart. I've got to find those pieces fast. Yeah, you think it's straightforward. It's not. It's not straightforward at all. Because now, the parts are hidden where, you know, where the dots are. But, they're hidden within the bunnies. So... Uh, thankfully it never gives you a situation where, which bunny is it, you know? But it is kind of obtuse if you don't really see the story context in this. I don't get these uh, ice hockey duck players. I don't know where they fit in with the story, but I guess they were there in the... That's original. It's not an excuse, but it's a reason. I think that's a mantra to you go by. It's not an excuse, but it is a reason. I think you can kill the hockey players with ice, too. This is another one where I check the map often. If you couldn't tell already. See? That, bun ha that bunny had the... <laughs> the casing. Now to find the other two pieces. 
fuel... What? I'm kind of at a loss as to what a fuel regulate... Fuel, a fuel regulator does. I guess it regulates the intake for the plane? I don't know. It's a MacGuffin. It drives along the plot. Uh, that's my interpretation of MacGuffin. I don't know about yours. Waka Waka. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to die. A lot. No, actually, I'm going to say I'm going to die. And it's going to be for the stupidest reasons. And I'm not cutting any of it out. When I let's play bigger games, I'll cut that out. But for now, it's, it's the second piece of the fuel regulator. One more piece to find, and we can get out of this overgrown ice box. Yeah. And I'm just checking here because I like to tempt fate. Oh. I think I'm revealed. Oh, let's see, I died. Even after, like, the super special awesome, uh, heart thing. And then I just decide that it's not worth it to explore. Ah! What did I do? Oh! I had to do that either way. Cuts me kills! It's Bubba Duck! Looks like that poor little pea brain got caught in a deep freeze. Um, Bubba Duck! He's a character from the show, if you couldn't tell already. Whoa, what happened? Scrooge? Ooga Ooga! Scrooge saved Bubba! There, there, little fella. Uncle Scrooge is here to help. Scrooge saved Bubba! Scrooge saved Bubba! Scrooge saved Bubba! Bubba helps Scrooge! Bubba helps Scrooge forever! You know, I could use a bit of help smashing away this giant icebox. What do you say, Bubba? Ooga, ooga! In that case, follow me, lad! Um, Bubba Duck, you know, this is pretty much his characterization. He came from an episode that took place in the Stone Age. That's pretty much all you need to know. I think that was already season two when the story started getting a bit more fantastic. Um, Bubba will also impede secrets, uh, in the way that he'll just automatically smash ice blocks, and there's really nothing you can do about that except try to race him to the, to them first. Thankfully though, he doesn't impede many secrets. This is the only time you need Bubba's help. And I guess, you know, this is kind of a developer saving throw. This is the end of the line, Bubba. It's time for you to head to the surface. Bubba home with Scrooge? Aye. Launch pad is waiting to take you home to Duckburg. On your way now. The Himalayan music star, uh... The Himalayan music. Wow. The Himalaya. The music for the Himalayas. Thank you. Um, are are actually a bit more memorable than uh, is actually a lot more memorable, but not too memorable. Friggin' bunnies. Yeah. Oh, look of the ducks. The last one. Now to get this fuel regulator back to launch pad. Luck of the Ducks actually sounds like it has a place in the, in, you know, the vernacular. Uh, and it's not a pun! Well, it is kind of a... It's not a pun, but... It sounds natural, is what I'm saying. You, know, you have kind of these duckified pun names for locations and famous people. Except for Genghis Khan. Uh, funnily enough. I wonder if any of the story uh, here actually matches the story um, placed, like, placed in the manual. 
I love reading the stories like that were in the manual for the games. It kind of became, you know, worthless because the, the games had stories within themselves eventually. But in game manuals, you know, it gave you some reason to save the princess, you know. So we have everything. Uh, time for the second part of the level. That this uh, can here is just in case, you know, you don't have all the parts yet. Here you go, Launchpad. Good as new. Now get this bucket of bolts back in the sky. Just a tick, Mr. McD. Uh, this <clears throat> ought to <clears throat> do it. Now there's your problem. Webbergale. What in the world are you doing here? I wanted to see the pretty crown, Uncle Scrooge. Oh, great. Now I've got to babysit you and Launchpad. But I can help Uncle Scrooge. You Notice how he doesn't say boys, Bubba. Are you? you don't think I'm just a worthless tag-along, do you? We're ready for liftoff, Mr. McD. Ah, not a moment too soon. Stop in tight, Webby dear. I think this is supposed to be like Off the mandatory, you know, girl power yet. episode. There is a I bell. don't know. Not a cloud in sight. Launchpad, knock off that infernal chatter. Gee whiz, I was only trying to lighten the mood. If anything, we need to lighten the plane. Feels like she's lost maneuverability with all the uh, unexpected cargo we seem to have picked up. No worries, Mr. McD. I've got the coordinates for Shadow Pass locked in. We'll be there lickety split. More like lickety splat. Glomgold. Nice to see you, McDuck. Especially since you've led me right to the treasure. To whom do I owe my thanks? Your idiotic pilot. Or did you play it safe and let those two V ones fly the plane? You dusty cheat. Only you could sink so low. And at 15,000 feet, no less. Complain all you like. The lost crown of Genghis Khan will look right at home on my feathered noggin, wouldn't you say, Scroogey? <laughs> That's what you think. You'll never beat us to Shadow Pass. So, the crown is in Shadow Pass, eh? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> God damn it, launch pad. Anyway, Gl Flynn's heart to Glomgold, uh, Scrooge's rival, more or less. Uh, for this boss battle, just, uh, yeah, just, uh, knock the bombs back at him. They'll always hit. Um, and kill the beagle boys that he shoots. He's not a really good employer. He's also the, sec the second richest duck in the world. You know, second only to Scrooge. Um, but... Where he foils Scrooge is uh, where Scrooge is trustworthy and honest about how he's made his money. Uh, Lomgold has always took, taken the easy way out, and it's all and it's implied that that's always why he's always second best. Wait, no, 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 no! Ah. This is getting a little hairy, boss. I don't know if you're. Yeah, Scrooge, pretend he's a door-to-door -door salesman. <laughs> you seen That's the actually pretty funny. Me, we never Take do. That, you big old meanie. We sure showed him that cheaters never cheat and winners never win, didn't we? Try it the other Webby. way around, and I couldn't agree more, Webby. Pickle me, pin feathers. There it is. Shadow Pass directly ahead. Take us down, Launchpad. Slow and steady this time. No problemo, Mr. McD. What kind of name is Webigail? I mean, I know it's a duck, duck fight version of Abigail. We're close to that Abigail. treasure now. I can almost smell it. But it's still just kind of... It, it, it kind of pushes it too far. Then what was it? That definitely wasn't me. Whatever it is, it won't last long if it tries to get between me and the Lost Crown. Uncle Scrooge, don't go! Dinner worry, lassie. Whatever is in that cave is no match for your Uncle Scrooge. 
I earn my fortune by being smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toughies. If yeah. anything's in there, it had better step aside. But I'm scared. Stay with Launchpad. He'll take good care of you. Oh, God. Stay with Launchpad? Gee, now I'm extra scared. <laughs> Poor Launchpad. I don't think he's gotten this much views in the show. Uh... Well, I guess because this is kind of a distillation of, of the DuckTales TV show. But, poor Launchpad, man. He gets more respect than Darkwing Duck. I want to talk about that, actually. The Darkwing Duck comics from, uh, Boom. From Boom. Also, I want to talk about Dangerous Currency. Uh, died. I want to talk about Dangerous uh, Currency. My, I just noticed that my score is six, 600,000, six, 666,000 dollars. Uh, that's, that's hilarious. I'm not superstitious or anything, so when I notice stuff like that, it's really just, it's just rather hilarious to me. And this is where the jump arc really gets to you. Uh, And the darn goats. Yeah, poor launch pad. I wonder if they'll remaster the Darkwing Duck game. Probably not because that's not as iconic. I mean, it was still a good game, but uh, unless Disney feels the need to revive the, the Disney afternoon, you know. And they should. Uh, cause they were really good shows. Not to sound like the old... Don't know why that would work. Not to sound... You know, like the old 20-year-olds that are... Get off my lawn! In my day, my cartoons actually were animated. They were hand-drawn, and I had to take pictures frame by frame. That's my old person's voice. I don't know if it was any, con any more convincing, but... Yeah, that... That's how most of my generation sounds now. The nostalgia generation. I think we really are the nostalgia generation. Maybe it's because we've had a, uh, you know, a lot of things to be nostalgic over. I don't. Really, I don't even think the Nintendo 64 is that old. It's like eight years old. Wow. <laughs> anyway, um, the Yeti, uh, that's your strategy, uh, hit the rock at the, at the ice block, wait till he's under it, and hit it, and then, you know, hit the Yeti's head. The, the rock is a bit, the ice block is a bit finicky on this, so it might take a good, it may take Good bit longer than you're than you're or you're willing, but it's not that bad. Uh, this boss will turn red, not literally but metaphorically, as he destroys the, the other two uh, ice blocks and leaves you with that uh, that solitary one. But you just complete it. This one is when it's at its most finicky. See? The hit detection on that, you know, by all accounts should have worked, but it didn't. Just keep on going. Uh, super finicky. Sorry, uh, do I, yeah, I, I live, I have half a heart left. Stop! Please, stop! 
Squibby. Be nice, Uncle Scrooge. That poor fuzzy lady didn't mean any harm. Did you, ma'am? Suddenly eyelashes. Ma'am. Don't be daft, lass. This has got to be a to really me. old Why, cliche. The reveal that it is actually a female. Oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know and him. And suddenly eyelashes. Webby, to make you it more understand feminine. this creature? I'm, I'm not course, fond Uncle of it, Scrooge but whatever. It's all in a junior woodchuck guidebook. The Codex of Infinite Knowledge. What's she saying the no. Junior Woodchuck she Guidebook. She's sorry if she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn. I can't get it out. A thorn? You don't suppose? Yeah, it's a cliche that I don't really like. Here's your thorn, Webigail. <laughs> the lost crown of Genghis Khan. The pretty crown. <laughs> you found it! Hey, the uh, poor creature was Webby. standing on it. Webby, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Without your help, we never would have found the treasure. Oh, uh, and thanks to you too, ma'am. <laughs> I think she likes you, Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, that's odd. Usually it's me the ladies go gaga for. Hey. Well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. And this is the part where everybody laughs and roll credits. But since this is a video game, we have one more level to go. And then we have all of the treasure of the decoded map thing. But first, our loot for this adventure. Ten million dollars. That's impressive. That's the I've never gone that high. Genghis Khan is mine, lads. <laughs> All it took was a bit of tenacity and perseverance. And a little kindness and patience. Right up the scooch? Ah. Oh, darling. Now, where's Bubba run off to? Yeah, where is he? He was here a minute ago. Why don't you answer Bubba? He's over there having a tea party with Webby's toys. No, Bubba Smash! Uh-oh, Webby. Sounds like Bubba's not getting along so good with your Quacky Patch dolls. <gasps> you keep away from my dolls, mister! Uh, remember, kindness and patience, Webbygill. Set a good example for the lad. Well then, what treasure shall we look for next? And now everybody laughs, and then end credits. And as to where we should go next? Of course, we'll find out next time on Let's Play uh, DuckTales Remastered. I've been SMX, you've been you. This has been Let's Play DuckTales Remastered. See ya.